na szosie. Сима и Ирис. Сегодня самые первые. Да, привет. Привет, привет. Привет, Ирис. Привет. Ирис, как нравится. Будем это, с этим скотчем проделать этот трюк. Да. Ну, экспериментируйте, в этом все и заключается. Одни спло сплошные эксперименты. Ой, это у меня тут где-то параллельная запись. Так, сейчас посмотрим. Я сегодня самая высокая. Сегодня я самая высокая. Ну, самая высокая тут. А, высокая там. Так, вот повесь, подбери локти. Ирис, загорелая. Лет у вас. Ирис сгорела, она была в теннисном лагере же. Как прошел, кстати, лагерь? Хорошо. Ирис. Понравилось? Уже больше? Да. Я так и подумала, что после лагеря теннис тебе больше понравится. Я хотела еще раз в лагерь, потому что там был бассейн. Я хотела опять в бассейне купаться. Плавание тоже хороший спорт. Я там сама плавала без клуба. Ух ты! Молодец, смело. Да, там было интересно. Очень. Мама в озеро не ходила купаться вообще. Да, ты можешь выплавать туда? Да, но я в озеро не ходила плавать. Не ходила? Да. Сколько у тебя сейчас время? У меня 7 утра. О, нормально. Не так уж и рано уже. Нормально. Вертикально или это горизонтально? Вертикально, да? Вертикальный лист, да, вертикальный. Надо переклеить. Приклеили к столу. Молодцы. Стол тоже очень хороший. Стол, он из стекла. Hi, Jules. How you doing? Hi, you. Oh, good. How are you? Yeah, good. <laughs> Gray or sunny? Hot and sunny at the moment. Well, cloudy. <laughs> But yeah, a bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're waiting for Mel. Yeah. Then, um, if she's there, because usually... Возьми свои кисточки. I'm using a different PC and it was a bit slow starting. I thought, come on. <laughs> no, you're good on time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll check with Mel. Mm Я уже все краски открываю и выкладываю. Молодец, мы будем немножко этими мелками вначале. Um, Jules, I know you, you're not really fan of oil pastels. Ah, here, Mel. No, I'm gonna, I will draw it out. And then what I'm thinking of doing, because um, last week I've carried on with that rose. Mm -hmm. So what I did yeah. in the end is put, you can see some leaves in. Yes. And then, so what I want to do is I'm going to do it as a study. So I'm going to do another rose, but the fuller rose that you sent through. Um, and then I'm going to oh. practice doing the water drops because it's something I really want to work on because um, I'm thinking of doing it for, this is what I'm doing at the moment. This is a view coming out of Portsmouth. Yeah, I remember this one, yeah. And what I want to do is, I want to do it as if there's um, I, there's a window. I'm looking out of a window and I want to do water mm -hmm. drops. Interesting, yes, yes, yes. So um, I need to practice. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I like your attitude, no? Very nice. <laughs> There she is, hi Mel. Yeah. There is Mel, she has a, a new setup. Yeah, Mel also looks sunny. 
That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's warm, isn't it? It is very buggy. It's not nice. No, stormy. So Mel, um, Jules, as always, she is uh, doing a bit her style. Um, okay. My idea was, uh, again, to start with the oil pastels, just like yeah. to do the sketch. Yeah, oh, so, so we're not doing the pencil and um, yeah, then acrylics on top. So don't really bother about the pastels because they get covered easily. But the idea okay. is to get this kind of more freestyle, yeah? So, um, so not like with the eraser, we, we put everything very precise, but as it's flowers, we can kind of, yeah, allow ourselves to, to you know. Um, so we'll start with, the, with blue and we can start with the base, yes. Um, in this painting, I did kind of high, yeah, but then later, you know, I kind of felt it could be cut it off. So now I'll do the vase a bit shorter. Yes, but you okay. feel yeah how, how you can do it. Mm -hmm. It can be also a bit wider, maybe. Yeah. So I'll try to press harder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so in general, it shouldn't be like really like drawing, just pretty much sketching, yeah? So I did the blue vase, now I'll take the red and try to uh, place the rose, yeah? It's also suitable to maybe open the, the rose picture. Let's see. Yeah, we can have some, oh, you have maybe, all right. I will try to leave. Oh, sorry, I forgot to place the record button. So, all right, here is the recording for, for Darren. So, I started with the um, uh, oil pastels, we did the, um, just the vase and then the rose. Yeah, so also kind of freely. Uh, feeling, yeah? So where, where should it be? Then I can change it, how big it is, yeah, in the in the process, yeah? And if I see if it's going maybe out too much in the corner, then I can maybe um, replace a bit. It is milkami, да? Мы начинаем немножко так рисовать. Да, но у меня тут почему-то какая-то белая... Ты не видишь? Видит, видит. А, окей. А мелками, я постараюсь сильнее мелками нажимать, чтобы было виднее, да? So, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to press a bit harder with the, uh, with the pastels, but you, of course, can, you know, go... Да, я нарисовала мелками, только вот недавно начали. Голубая линия... Ваза, да, в углу такая вот тут. И розочку я как бы вот так намечаю, где, мне кажется, розочка должна жить в моем букете. You can also be like color, yeah? So if, especially with the rose, because it's kind of, you know, to trick to do it nicely is to do all this game of light and shadow. Yeah, and especially with some little borders of light somewhere. Yeah, so I can also somewhere mark if I want somewhere a shadow, I know, yeah. And then maybe mark uh, some kind of this, the lines. Yeah. Yeah, but still the idea of oil pastels is, is more the composition. Yeah, so, and maybe kind of the size. Yeah. 
So I can um, maybe take the, the green, create this, um, the, the, these leaves. And, um, and so the, the steam of the rose, yeah, um, it goes differently as in, in the picture. So then you just invent, yeah, how it goes in the, um, inside the vase, yeah. Um, general story between vase and um, the steam above, I think we also did once the transparent. It just kind of, you make it more, um, more light, yeah, so, I put more color on, on top. Yeah. And the one um, and the steam below, I go lightly, even sometimes with the white uh, yeah, pastel, I can go on top and it's kind of more for me. And then I see already uh -huh, something more like transparent. Um, all right, I was planning to put also the purple um, crocus, yeah? So mainly I'll follow the same composition, yeah? Lavender behind, uh, these peace flowers, yeah? Kind of falling out. So somewhere here under the rose, I'll try to get in the, the purple crocus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so much. Yeah, and I said also can cover kind of, yeah. So I already put a steam of my rose, but now I say, okay, I want a flower there. Yeah, so of course, crocus are the flowers that are not kind of really hard to put in the vase, but all right, that's going to be an experiment. Maybe now I want to. Okay, I'll, I'll go further with other flowers and then I decide, yeah, if I want to add another crocus or change the position or something. Yeah. Um, with lavender, it's nice to put them kind of also um, several of them together. Yeah, so more kind of together fluffy. Yeah. And basically, yeah, just. Um, just like dots somewhere around, yeah. So. yeah. It is, это как такой эскиз, да? Вот я начертила там у меня вот тут лаванду как палочки, да, и такие точечки вокруг. Просто вот чтобы у меня уже создалось ощущение, как вот мой такой букет будет. Let's see some some here on the side. Mm. All right. And then with the um, some light pink. Yeah, or uh, depends. Maybe we can start with green to do the steams of this, um, these flowers. Yeah, something also to project somewhere. So the idea is, of course, I can later all correct it with, um, with the paints. Yeah, so, so now it's more, it should feel like playing. Yeah, and these peace flowers, 
that's where you also can go like really sketch light yeah because the feeling of them should be it's kind of they have this all movement and lightness yeah so you can really do um all right all right i'll add maybe a second one i'm still thinking um Um, in the vase, as you want, you can do some strikes of green, yeah, just like as if there are some, but still, like when you do some um, steams inside the vase, still, like, kind of think yeah, how they are there, yeah. So, probably here on the, on the left side of the vase, it would be more empty, yeah, because kind of all flowers. Um, yeah, so. Just approximately. So we have a B, and I'm still designing on crocus. All right. So the B basically, of course, it's black, yellow, yeah, some little spots. Um, also find a good position for the B, yeah, maybe so. Yeah, so a little bit one black spot for the head. And then some yellow. Then there should be like two wings. Oh, oh. It's, it's pretty almost like a heart. Yeah. Да, еще, еще все успеваешь, мы еще тут только рисуем. Yeah, so that's my B. Yeah, it's also different. Yeah, there's um, one yellow spot a bit bigger, another yellow spot smaller. Yes. Вы меня видите или с Сима? So the crocus also has this yellow part. Yeah, I'll mark it so not to forget later to. Uh, Oh. And all right, I go for a second crocus to fill a little bit this gap. Yeah. yeah, so one a little bit open, another one closer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ирис, ты вернулась, я вас снова слышу. Да, у меня почему у меня, видимо, компьютер сломался. Только мы не видим этот скрин, где рисовать надо. Там скрин рисовал. Some technical issues were. That's technology for you. Починилась, но отлично. Нет, не починилась. Мы через телефон зашли, у меня компьютер просто перестал работать. Пока я еще не успела нарисовать то, что вы нарисовали. Ну, я, конечно, да, это еще понятно. Это не... Мы тебя ждем, да, вот. Скажи мне, что у тебя есть, я могу тебе словами помочь. Я сейчас рисую лаванду. 
Отлично, да. Вот такие палочки. Не обязательно очень детально, потому что мы все равно будем делать красками, да. Больше именно вот так провела палочку, точечки, чтобы где она находится, да, вот это важнее. А красками уже будем вот детально ее рисовать. Да? Теперь я начну рисовать те, которые линии, все цветы. Ну. Мел, how is your sketch? Okay, okay. So re ready to switch? Mm -hmm. All right. Ирис, тогда будем красками рисовать? Или тебе нужно еще время? Еще нужно да. время. Хорошо, поставь. Я yeah, буду give few more minutes for, for the girl, yeah, because she had these okay. computer issues. Yeah, meanwhile, we can... Um, we can think of so while I'm following you, I'm just doing it in paint, all right? So I'm doing the same as a rose. I'm just doing it in paint. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, I'll go slowly with um, putting my paints on the palette. Yeah, because I think the girl, she has gouache, so she can open them. So, the colors, again, yeah, reds and pink. So a little bit um, similar like uh, last Saturday. So I have my light pink. Yeah, and then squeeze some red. and dark pink. With the purple. So with the purple, um, Uh, I usually never have it, so it's always mixing blue and red. Um, and then and then um, it's kind of always good to have like lighter or, or cleaner. Yeah, the colors, then the purple is also kind of nicer. And then I add a bit of white, and then I have two purples. Yeah, so the one I mixed and the half I mix with white and then I have the light one and the darker one, yeah. And okay, the greens, yeah. So the green again, it's typical, you'll have some light um, and dark one is always good to mix with a little drop of black because in itself, this green, it's kind of a bit, it's a bit of dull, yeah. It's kind of, you don't really use it directly so um and a little bit of um black makes it really nice like deep deep good color Ирис, как у тебя дела? Сейчас я выложила краски, и сейчас буду начинать. Молодец, да, я вот тоже еще выкладываю краски, да, mm -hmm. так что вот уже можно приступать скоро. Um, the yellow, of course, is also very nice, because then, um, yeah, you can make this... Like sunshine green, yeah, and it's good if some in some moment you make the painting a bit too dark, a bit too dirty, yeah, then one can save it. So then I have like kind of three uh, 
Recorders, and then I use also white here. All right, we can start maybe with the rollers. Yeah, this is kind of something that we can, um, something it, it's detailed. Yeah, so we can start it, then leave it, go back to other flowers and then come back to retouch, yeah. And um, so I suggest also to start with the light colors, yeah. It's usually kind of defined, yeah. And then try to save the places that will be um, with the light, um, light ropes. Yeah? So this kind of this petal. Ирис розочку я, нарис... я начинаю рисовать розочку и начинаю рисовать вот со самых светлых мест, да, вот, то есть я вот так выбираю, где у меня будут светлые лепестки, и я как бы буду стараться эти места сохранить, да, не потерять, потом, когда я буду делать сезонные места, да, чтобы вот, потому что темные всегда, конечно, легче, да, зак закрасить, темным по светлому легко, а светлым по темному уже сложнее. Поэтому я вот, да, вот примерно такие, которые самые светлые. Да. So I did like really uh, this light, this nipple, this uh, yellow paint. Yeah, so this really light pink. And then again, um, like last time, I go like one step darker pink. Yeah, so I had a little drop of Another pink. Yeah. And then go and I can decide, yeah, where. Of course, one, one can paint a rose really like detailed and um, yeah, so if one can want, you can start this painting and then leave it, then the next day come back and go, go like retouching. Yeah. Iris, I do like from the red to the red. Like in the past, we did the red to the red to the red. Потом мы брали розовый чуть потемнее, да, то есть ты смешиваешь, если у тебя, вот, допустим, красный, ты его должна смешать с белым, да, тогда у тебя получится розовый, а потом будешь брать уже, допустим, просто красный, да, и вот как бы так вот по кусочкам эту розочку мы ее собираем, да, где вот потемнее, где посветлее. Так очень точно не обязательно, да, потому что вот она такая вся. Да? Ну вот примерно такими разными как дугами. Um, it could help also, like for example, we did some, some light parts of rose and now jump to the dark ones. So um, I will mix, like I'm mixing dark pink and red yeah, together. Um, at this point, maybe it can be without black. Yeah, just because it's just enough that it's darker. And then later we can retouch with the, um, yeah, and then I can go kind of straight maybe for the, because it helps me kind of cover empty spaces of the rows, yeah, so kind of have it more or less defined. And then, um, and then later, like what's left, I can already decide which kind of pink in between could be there, yeah, because of course it's, very yeah, and then you can just look at the at the picture yeah, and it has all this and of course we try to do the rows really kind of on the, in a quick way yeah but we'll try 
to do that it still has this feeling. Yeah. Okay, I'll add a little bit of black because I feel I want this a bit deeper. Yeah. Или вот что, а какой-то вот, значит, мы добавляем, допустим, в красный белый, чтобы у нас было вот розовый, светлый. Потом мы можем использовать красный как вот напрямую из банки. И мы можем вот на, на, на палете смешать красный и немножко черного. Но вот совсем-совсем немножко, чтобы он не превратился в такой грязный черный, а чтобы он все равно был такой красный, более такой глубокий. Да? И вот у нас как бы вот такая комбинация вот этих... Светлые, средние и темные тона. И вот с помощью них, да, мы тогда вот как бы тут и создаем такие... Mm -hmm. да, то есть вот этот краешек. Да, я делаю. Yeah, so mixed a little bit of black and now go some spots of... Yeah, the rose is usually kind of, yeah, of course, not so easy as lavender, yeah? but just give it a bit more time for the rose. Yeah, Iris, rose обычно она сложнее, да, поэтому вот мы сейчас так немножко больше времени уделяем, да, потом уже остальные цветы уже пойдут легче, да, лаванда и цветной горошек. So I keep, I keep on playing with the with the pinks. Yeah, I'm already. I have almost all my rows kind of covered. So. So then also coming back, just plain red. Yeah, because usually you, you mix, mix, but then sometimes you forget you can use just what you have in a... Yeah, Mel, if you have any doubts about rose, you can send me, of course. And so some parts I felt were too too light, so then I just go maybe like with the um, bit darker pink on top a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, because these white lines also they, they don't have to jump out. Yeah, you remember this trick that we do that we kind of sit back and halfly close your eyes, and then at once you will spot what is jumping out. And then, uh, so like uh, the light spots, both the dark ones, yeah, sometimes, of course, the dark ones, they just become, they kind of go together. But with the light spots, uh, they're really, yeah, it's a good trick. All right, I will leave maybe my rose for the later touch up, yeah, to let it dry. 
and we can move maybe to lavender. Lavender is nice. Yeah, so I will go mixing purple. Listen, to be fair, to be fair, there is a ready color, or to be fair, you have to mix it. There is a ready. А, ну тогда умничка. Тогда вот что нам нужно, нам нужно два фиолетовых, вот потемнее и светлее, да, то есть вот на, на палете положи, значит, свой готовый фиолетовый, а вторую кучку фиолетового надо смешать с белым, да, тогда он будет такой вот светлый. И вот как бы, двумя цветами мы будем создавать лаванду, чтобы вот она была местами у нее там темные пятнышки, местами у нее светлые. Um, so now I'm creating two purples, yeah, one, um, one light, one dark, yeah, and I can use also, um, uh, someone wants to use two brushes at the same time, it's also possible, um, and I'm starting with the light purple, yeah, going kind of almost all over, and, um, And then with the dark touch-ups. Или что я делаю? Я сначала беру светло фиолетовый и как бы его кладу сначала, да? Вот почти вот примерно по всему, по весь как цветочек идет. И вот я такие просто вот как тыкаю кисточкой вот так тук-тук, да, и создаю такие точечки. Но не нужно как бы весь прокрашивать, потому что все равно между лавандой там есть как бы немножко вот пространство воздуха, да, то есть небольшие дырочки у нас тоже должны оставаться. Yeah, so I'm just um, it's basically like creating dots, yeah, but I still remember that I need some uh, space in between. Yeah, so I'm not covering all uh, with the purple, but I'm leaving some, some air Yeah, in between, especially because I will have the, I will have to go on top with darker spots. Yeah, so, um, yeah, and no worries if like, um, if lavender goes a bit more fluffy, it's even better, yeah? If some kind of, maybe in real life, it's not, it won't be so, but in the painting, it looks a bit yeah, splashy. Yeah, and also later we create, we'll create all these drops If you're not afraid to uh, get a bit messy on your table, then. <laughs> so this flowers, of course, is already easier and it's more like a feeling. Yeah, you create the color, the, the shape, but it's not. Yeah, and in this point, of course, you can go like um, over your oil pastels uh, in a different way. Yeah, oil pastel is just direction, but that don't necessarily like follow strictly. Yeah, so if you feel something should be longer, bigger, yeah, then it can go. Вот, Ирис, я прохожусь по, вот где я решила у меня лаванда, я прохожусь просто вот точечками. Да, ставлю кисточку, да, и могу где-то вот так побольше точечек, поменьше. И потом вторым слоем вот такой вот эти темный фиолетовый пойдем. Да. Ну, что я сделаю сначала? So, uh, till I have my uh, kind of brush in light purple, I will um, go for the crocus a bit, yeah, so... There is again this game of light and dark purple. So uh, kind of the tips, the tips of crocus are lighter. Yeah, and the part going down will be a bit darker. Yeah. Я тут внизу я добавила еще два таких цветочка. На первой картине у меня их нет. Ты не сможешь сама решить, как тебе нравится, не нравится. Yeah. All right. 
then moving to the darker purple. Yeah, also I tried to have my brush um, more dry, yeah, uh, in this point, because otherwise with water, you won't get the spots, but it will be, of course, or like fluidy and messy. Yeah, so, I mean, if the first uh, layer with the light purple, I could do a bit more watery. Now, uh, either I wait, yeah, till, till it dries, <laughs> but if I don't, then I go with more dry, dry brush. Mm -hmm. Или когда я вот иду сверху вторым цветом, если у меня еще не высохло, тогда как бы лучше меньше воды на кисточке, да, иначе все будет растекаться. Вот, поэтому кисточка как бы более такая сухая, у меня вот есть тут всегда салфетка, я в салфетку вытираю кисточку, и тогда как бы лезу в краску, и тогда уже она краска будет больше как точечками садиться, и она не будет э, растекаться. And I go on top with the with dots. Yeah. Also going maybe in the start, go a bit more careful, yeah, to see how big are your dots. So not, not to make it just simply all dark. Yeah. And then if you feel okay, my dots are this size, and then you can go more. Yeah. And also maybe darkness can go more on one side, yeah, with a little bit on the other. Или я вот так по чуть-чуть пробую а, точечки, да, то есть смотрю, какого они у меня размера получаются. А, если слишком большие, тогда мне будет тогда меньше точечек, да, чтобы не сделать все таким темным а, фиолетовым, да, чтобы все таки светло-фиолетовый тоже у меня там остался. Да? И вот я так аккуратно по чуть-чуть проверяю, да, как моя кисточка, как краска садится No. Yeah, so also trying to break here, I have talking and then I've noticed I've created like three parallel lines. Yeah, so now I can try to break them a little bit. Maybe. Um. So, my lavender, and then I use the same brush uh, and purple to go for um, the crocus. Yeah, so it's uh, for the lower part. I'm here trying to also cover this theme of rose. Yeah, it's kind of actually becomes cool because it's kind of becomes halfway transparent. I mean, I can see it a bit. So, um, but later you can decide if some green things are going over. Yeah, so it's yes. kind of. Um, yeah, for the crocus, I can add a bit of pink maybe. Yeah, to uh, kind of make this kind of dark purple pink and also have some parts. And you see some parts, for example, I can leave even with these oil pastels that I did, like the bee or this inside of crocus or some parts can be left for um, as it is, yeah, as you did with oil pastel. So it's not really. Okay. All right, going for the uh, peace flowers, um, they have to be light, yeah? So in this case, you can use more water, yeah? Do it more watery, then wait till it's dry and do kind of the second layer, yeah? Because um, the watery layer, of course, will be like kind of one the same transparent and then uh, can use maybe even 
more thinner brush to do some lines or something. Yeah? But we started then with the, uh, then again, some, some pink. Yeah, I can add more white in it. So the idea is also to get it more kind of really light. And then later I was going around with the background yeah, and then the, this um, transparent flowers will kind of show up. Следующее я делаю, я или себе прихожу вот на эти цветочки, да, на цветной горошек, который тут. И они такие вот легкие, расплывчатые, да, и вот в этот раз можно использовать больше воды на кисточке. И вот намешать, и вот будем здесь несколько слоев делать. Вот первый слой такой легкий, воздушный, я вот наношу, а потом уже вторым, третьим слоем когда подсохнет, я смогу нанести такой более какие-то отдельные линии кусочки. Yeah, so um, I'm going over with my transparent pink. So um, somewhere it can be even more white. Yeah, for example, I did now. I just covered kind of all with pink. But then I can take just plain white and add some, um, yeah, then add some parts somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and then I will uh, let let it dry. In the meantime, we'll go for the green, because uh, green is also kind of something that you go retouching, retouching um, several times, yeah, because it has many different, uh, like darker, uh, lighter green. So, yeah, but we'll start to have our all the painting more finished, yeah, and then. Um, so first, um, I'll take my thin brush and go around this, um, the piece flowers, um, yeah, all these, these curvy lines, yeah. Yeah, so it depends, of course, with the old pastels, they are kind of a bit more um, fat. Um, doesn't matter, I just go on top, yeah, and because uh, you remember also later, for example, yeah, if somewhere you 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 went like really fat on the line, yeah, like don't um, don't try to fight and remove it now. Because later, when we go for the background, there you can go like uh, and uh, and correct your line yeah, if if you want it thinner. And here I also go and create this a little bit um, under the flower, yeah, where it's connecting to the stem. So kind of um, a triangle, yeah. So then, so it's not just a flower and, a, and some stick. It's always this this part. Или yeah? я вот в этих цветочках, да, которые такие воздушные. Вот когда я рисую стебелек, вот как бы нужно всегда нарисовать вот такой маленький треугольничек. Да, внизу цветочка, где они соединяются. Да, то есть не просто цветочек и палочка, а вот всегда идет немножко такое как бы, соединение, да, где цветочек крепится. And then again, remember, uh, you don't have, you know, to do all the lines. Uh, so it's somewhere you miss it. Yeah, somewhere it's kind of just by um, drawing with the with the paint, some of paint is over, and then leave it this way, yeah? So later maybe it can be another color there or leave it like with, without uh, a line, yeah? You know, this trick not to have the, um, the worms. Yeah. 
yeah, is um is I have white green now on my brush. I do also maybe little some light touch-ups on rose with leaves. And later, of course, I go with this darker uh, green. Yeah, but then still I have some little game there of lighter and darker green. Yeah. And uh, now I prepare my green with black. Yes. Yeah, very, always uh -huh. very carefully. Mm -hmm. yeah, not, not to do too much uh, black. Yeah, so adding little by little, and then once you have this nice deep green. Вот эти листочки под розочкой, да, они такие более темные, там такой более темно-зеленый, да, розы не такие. Да, это зеленый, вот как мы смешивали красный, совсем чуть-чуть черным. Вот та же самая история с этим зеленым, да, то есть он делается таким более глубоким цвет, но нужно вот по чуть-чуть добавлять черный и смотреть, как он у тебя получается, да. То есть я вот отдельно на своей палете смешаю, смотрю, и когда вот мне подходит цвет, тогда я уже кисточкой лезу на бумагу. I can use again this, so I'm going with dark, yeah, come back for this. Uh, Greenpeace teams, yeah, do some maybe darker little touch-ups, but also um, not everywhere, just somewhere. Yeah. Mama, what is that? What happened? Oh, again, the troubles, poor girl. <laughs> Today is not, not her lucky day. With technology, we all know it. So, um, going for for the other, all these par green parts, yeah, it's all already more more free. I can do some little touch-ups of green in the middle of the lavender, yeah, just kind of marking the central line of lavender, but also very. Um, can you say it? This this line in computer also dash dash line, yeah. So um, yeah, just just a little bit. Also, maybe to break a little bit this. Uh, if the under all together, then with lines can create. So, and all these steams inside the vase, yeah? Of course, I try to imagine, yeah, which flowers can, like how they're going inside, but I'm not making too much headache about it because, yeah, it's kind of their MS all inside, yeah? So just approximately, um, I create the, the directions, yeah? Also, maybe trying not to go too too dark, yeah. And then um, inside the vase, I mean, yeah. But later, also, it's easy, you know, when it's dry, you can just go with the white on top, and um, so. can add maybe some leaves for lavender if there are like some space around. Yeah, so just also see if you need to cover some empty spaces, then just add some other flower or some leaves. And of course, my crocus flowers looking here a little bit. <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah, squeezed in, nothing to do. All for Dara, <laughs> who's not today. Um, what I will do, I will go a little bit, so work on the base. 
yeah, um, to have this part also closer to ready. And um, so it is, it's kind of game of a lot of different colors, but in, in general, they all light, yeah? They all mixed with white. So I can go, for example, with the, um, I can start with the light blue, yeah? And go this left side of painting. Yeah, so either a lot of white or also a lot of water can also help. But then, of course, it depends if um, depends on your paper. Yeah, if the paper is not good quality, then it all gets uh, smashed. The paper. And so, yeah. For example, I can really feel it, uh, and sometimes I can already know. Okay, if this this is my like experimental paper. Yeah, then I better not use too much water. Yeah, otherwise it's then. And then if I said, okay, this is my kind of nice uh, drawing, I you take better paper. So like from 300, uh, I can already feel really the difference. Yeah. And so on the palette, you can create different kind of light green. Yeah, it can go also with yellow. Yeah, maybe mix yellow with green. So it will help kind of create light, yeah? It will show it's kind of, okay, there are stains inside, <clears throat> but still some kind of something transparent and... Yeah. This light green also always helps to create the sunshine, yeah? So kind of nice. Um, Или где вот ваза сама, да? Я один бог делаю таким легким голубым, и другой делают вот мешать, можно намешать желтый и зеленый. Когда смешиваешь желтый и зеленый, получается такой красивый, такой светлый зеленый цвет. Да, вот им можно рисовать вот внутри вазы. Да, тогда получится она такая, как будто она прозрачная и легкая ваза. And what also helps is just to put more darker green on top of the base. Yeah, so let's say maybe, uh, yeah, so to it will help to create the feeling of the base. Yeah, when on top I have some. Yeah, and in the end, all this space kind of below the rows and between the vase, I will try not to leave um, without white spots. But what I do, so then I create some dark lines, wait a little bit till it's dry, and then just kind of go over with some light uh, green and it will cover, yeah, all these uh, spaces in between. And then, uh, yeah, what I can do, so like, as we have all these themes kind of messed up, but only the rows, yeah, we can go maybe a little bit more uh, marked, yeah, because we have general this flower uh, very positions, very strong. So then you can say, aha, this is the rose going. And the rest around there, yeah. And of course, if you made inside the vase too light, then you can go with some little strikes of darker color, yeah, just to create, yeah. And then if it's too much, then you can again go for more. Mm 
Um, with the background, yeah, can decide. Um, it be also without, yeah. So here, for example, now you have you can take a look two examples with and without. Uh, both can look, yeah. Uh, or we can spread maybe a little bit green, yeah. I'll go experimenting also myself because I did this background and I felt um maybe it looks a bit more childish, yeah. This blue and green, um, yeah. So maybe if try to create a bit more interesting background, yeah. Ah, but we have to go also for the piece, yeah, because we did just one layer there. So some work to do there as well, yeah. Um, not to get too, uh, too much headache about it, just like I'm taking a um, green brush. Yeah, I just got put green into nice red. Um, so just thin brush, also a bit, uh, a bit more dry. Yeah, and just creating these kind of fancy lines yeah, around the flowers. So also not everywhere, just marking like contour somewhere. Oh, somewhere it can be, yeah, not just line, but a bit more um, surface. Yeah, but still trying kind of to, to keep this, this the lightness of this flower. Yeah, so. Um, not much uh, in general, yeah. The, the less we paint there in these flowers, the better, because Или если вот эти легкие цветочки, горошек, я как бы немножко так обвожу, да, делаю как немножко такой контур. Но в любом случае они такие как бы легкие, прозрачные, что как бы лучше, вот чем меньше там нарисуем, тем лучше, да, то есть они как бы такие, да, то есть совсем чуть-чуть я там что-то так вот отметила, и пусть они такие легкие в воздухе и летают. Да, вокруг можно сделать потом фон, тогда они будут лучше видны. Uh, yeah, so. Sometimes you can even like kind of hold your hand and stop yourself. Yeah, not to, uh, yeah, because we can go for the background and then see, okay. Yeah, because with the background, then it could be already enough. Yeah, but now without background, of course, we want to make more, yeah, more visible. And so I will try to go um, just background just green yeah some some of these parts here in between this um uh, in this lower part yeah for the upper part the sky then later we can can decide and and of course the clean the cleaner uh the color the better so sometimes of course it's kind of uh, tempted to use what's already you have on the palette yes but um uh, it's good to check if the color is nice clean yeah so it's also a very nice green you can create uh, using this light blue so this turquoise yeah if you have it and then with the mix it with yellow yeah we all know no blue and yellow creates green, but these two always cause turquoise, yeah, of, of its nice blue color. And then with the, um, with the yellow, then you get really nice, this green, yeah, this sunshine green. And, um, and then this time, of course, I can go with more water on my brush, yeah. And then later when it's dry, I can go retouch where. Um, you know. And remember when we talk, then I can correct also some steams, yeah? So if I got some steams too fat by accident of the brush, now it's the time I can kind of, yeah, color over. And then of course it's kind of uh, very, uh, I have to go accurate, but it's possible, yeah? Just put more paint. 
and just one stroke exactly where you feel. And then next to the flowers, yeah, next to the vase, I can create more intense green. And then once I go outside, yeah, then I'll go with more water and just like wash out. Yeah, so. Yeah, and then sometimes I can go even directly to the uh, to the white, yeah, and uh, create kind of this mix straight on the on the paper. Yeah, it's also as if if you feel. So yeah, and can also that doesn't have to be like background all all even, yeah, just like um it, so it doesn't have to be like a wall, yeah. We can I can put for example bit more green under some flowers yeah so if it's also my aim to to especially these flowers to light so i can kind of go with a little bit um, of more color and um no worries if you feel you know kind of the the paint is taking off yeah so i mean you want to create an e an even color <clears throat> You just have to put one layer, wait, and then with the second layer you can manage uh, if the aim is to, to, to get it like nice even in some parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then playing also with the quantity of water. Yeah, so you put some color and then just dip in brush into the water and you can just go and blur out. I have no doubt um, Juice is going with the palette knife around. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Catch you. <laughs> that predictable. <laughs> and. I feel a steam of my purple crocket is missing. Um, I will run very quickly for my charger. Yeah, you keep on, I'll be back. So I'm still in doubt about the upper part of sky. What, what do you think? 
Mel and Jules, how you feel about? Sorry, say again. Um, tell me what what's your ideas about the background? How how you feel? Um, well, it's not what's asking me at the moment because I'm just um, I've just had loads of color. What I've done, <laughs> what I've done is I've painted what you've painted, and then I've just mm -hmm. gone with a. Um, pattern knife with some white paint and just gone down so it all looks like it's going through glass at the moment uh -huh. so what I'm going to do is I'm going back and just putting in a little bit of detail um, so you can see what it is but, I don't know, you're better off asking Mel <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to the blue and green I like the colour all right, but uh, what about the like upper part? Would you go blue sky? Yeah, I'll go blue sky. All right, okay. Yeah, in the end, it looks nice. This blue color, I like it. Uh, all right. Okay. Um, где где на каком мы сейчас ты этапе на каком? Я сейчас основать, потому что у меня не выходит где-то этот голубой цвет и зеленый. Да, ну вот голубой эм, ваза, здесь такой светло-голубой и светло-зеленый. Да? То есть тебе нужно просто добавить больше белого. Да? А, если ты смелая, можешь попытаться белым прямо вот как бы... Белый с водой и вот сверху пройтись по вазе. Может быть, она осветлится у тебя, да, если вдруг она темная, например. Mm -hmm. um. Um, ну, я понимаю, сейчас как бы, ты не можешь, да, мне Симы прислать. Так бы я посмотрела. Ну, нормально uh, у нее этот цвет. Да? Угу. Ну, получается, да, вот светло-голубой намешала, светло-зеленый и такие отдельные полосочки эм, темные, да, и тогда получится. Фон тебе нужно делать, да, начинать с Зайкин? Начинаю. Начинаю. Возьми, делай фон. Вот здесь у тебя зеленый хороший. Возьми другую кисточку и белый ставь. Когда мама будет с нами рисовать? В следующий раз. Договори. Да, Она обещает? Да. Ну вот, фон, да, я беру, значит, снизу у меня здесь будет такой более... Вот похоже, как в прошлый раз тоже было на картинке. У нас был внизу зеленоватый а сверху будет такой голубоватый, как небо, да? So now I have my, like, first layer of background dry, and now it's really easy to kind of add these touch-ups of, um, of some green, yeah, somewhere maybe below the flowers, and it's kind of, yeah. And then later we'll try to do this wet drops Oof. that are always good when you, when you create also, for example, the snow, remember, I think we were painting winter. So, and the blue, the blue, the blue. Mm. And for example, the bee, I actually, I left it as it is from the oil pastels, uh, maybe a little bit of the wings can do some touches. Thank you. 
Yeah, and then you can go with some blue, maybe a bit lower somewhere. Yeah, so also the connection doesn't have to be um, straight one line. Yes, so it can go. Yes, and again, going directly with white somewhere yeah, can be an also easy option kind of mixing. Yeah. You can do some touch-ups on the wings of the bee, yeah, maybe. So it's kind of... Yeah, and this moment is also, for example, we can take a look and do some darker touch-ups somewhere. Let's say maybe, um, yeah, if, so I have this crocus, yeah, then somewhere I can do the, the shadow, yeah, so. Like this, these dark uh, lines, yeah. It's also in the rows can be, yeah. They they do kind of really nice. Yeah, could be uh, one more touch with the, with this light, these flowers. Yeah, so now it's also dry. So maybe some um, some darker um, some darker pink. Yeah, so so we could be some something like shadow lines. Yeah, so. And I will try to do now the, um, the splashes. Yeah, then for the splashes, of course, then two brushes. One you create with the color, so you mix the color you want. And it's kind of, yeah, it has to be enough of um, paint. Yeah? So um, I'll go with, the, let's say with purple. Yeah, and I mix kind of enough paint in the pile and all the water in there. So it has to be a little bit watery, yeah? maybe not too much, not to dilute the paint, but still, yeah, watery enough so it can move, create these brushes. And then it's just hitting with one brush above another. Yeah, so um, the one that has the paint, uh, I hold firmly. Yeah, and then with the with the other brush that is just clean, I use it as a stick, and I kind of and I, I hit the one with the with the color, yeah, kind of vertical. And then, oops, I go with these um, splashes, yeah, and then it's it's uh, then you can come back, get more paint, get more water, yeah, and. Um, Ирис, я только что объясняла, значит, вот такие, видишь, как точечки такие, э, брызги. Вот как создавать эти брызги? То есть ты намешала какой-то цвет, да, немножко воды тоже на кисточку. Вот у меня вот здесь этот фиолетовый, да, то есть довольно много краски на кисточке, да, чтобы было чем брызгать. И потом вот эта кисточка, на которой краска, 
я ее держу, а другой кисточкой, которая просто чистая, да, просто как палочка, я ее вот так сверху бью, так хопс, и тогда у меня вот от этой кисточки разлетаются, видишь, такие как капельки. Вот можешь попробовать. Раз у вас стол стеклянный, то не будет сложно почистить, да? Попробуй, можешь попробовать, если хочешь. Yeah, and I can change the color. I can take, let's say, yeah, pink and... Uh, yeah, this is kind of a, yeah, a bit tricky, like, yeah, sometimes the splashes are good, bad, um, but in general, they always, yeah, look. I like it. Um, yeah, it's... Um, It's a little bit with the aquarel, yeah, this effect when you paint and then some. Yeah, it's definitely so, cool. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! And a new good technique from today. Yeah, so let's say maybe I'll mix some some red, yeah, some more pink. And And also maybe um, if you get too much, then you just um, can paint over, yeah? So, um, just uh, go back to some green on your palette. And, yeah. But, Красивый. Еще сюда мне нужно поставить, если не совсем белый. Ну так, чтобы не было просто белого пятна. Все, эти белые можно тоже не так рисовать, но чуть-чуть аккуратнее. Что это цвет такой? Also, for example, I'm looking now for... Что значит, что это за фон такой? Непонятно. Как у вас там брызги получаются, Сима? Да, брызги получаются. Ой, молодцы, я очень рада. Okay, the, the girl also got the splashes. So good. I'm happy <laughs> it worked. Um, I also looking, for example, now <clears throat> I feel like the rose is really dominating. Yeah, it's um, like maybe a little bit also like sitting on top. So what I will do is experiment. I will create some steams above. Yeah, let's say from, from some lavanda. Yeah. Uh, so just to say maybe it's going behind, yeah? So I'll try to, maybe also some lavanda on top. Yeah, let's say if I can maybe just hide it a little bit, yeah? So. Yeah. so of course, maybe a bit too late to plan it this way. I had to plan it, yeah, of course, in the start. But I like always because you know with you painting it's kind of second drawing, so it's I can experiment and get messy and I mean if I spoil it, I still have another one. Yeah, so a little bit kind of just um trying to hide the rose a bit. Um Ну что, Ильс, получились брызги? Да. Не было страшно стучать? Нет. Молодец, умничка. У меня да. почти что на стол не попало. Даже не попало? Ну, видишь как? Что? У меня Почему? обычно летит до компьютера все. Правда, на руку больше всего попало. Ну, руки это точно, да. Ну, художник. Как же у художника чистые руки. Не получается. Yeah, so, and, um, okay, something in the top. Let me see. No, yes. All right. 
All right. The first thing I see it's the the um, yeah the steam's kind of in the air in the vase, but like like cutting the paper I think would yeah the, the, could be the best solution yeah so yeah yeah so it's it's uh, something maybe that's not necessary <laughs> you you have to what could do for example um, if you still have or mix some light purple yeah mm -hmm. if you want you can go a bit more fluffy maybe on lavanda. Yeah, if you feel it, it's a bit like splashes, yeah? Splashes mm -hmm. style can go maybe just um, yeah, if, you, if, if it feels too. Well, I like your rose, yeah? Very nice about all these lines. Yeah, so um, cool, yeah. Beautiful, I love it. Yeah, so it's it's so again, the thing I said about this, yeah, um, light purple, it's just, uh, it's like the style, yeah. So uh, if you wanted more like kind of fluffy painting, uh, it's yeah, so you decide. But in general, very nice. Um, yeah, and also like the differences in the vase. So the green is darker on top, and then there it really feels like behind the glass. Oh, yeah, and the splashes, yeah. But you can do also maybe I'll create a bit more um maybe dark yeah kind of um this green behind the like above the base yeah mm -hmm. it just but it's very little yeah again I mean you already did it it's um, yeah I'm already just talking to talk. <laughs> It's um, it's all good there. Yeah, well, I think I'll, I'm done with mine. I will remove the tape. Um, so we'll wait for Jules. We'll wait if maybe a little girl can send her. I'm very excited yeah. to see. Um, I'm not ready with my rose. I'm going to oh. let it dry. It's, <laughs> it's really wet and... You, you should to... try maybe um, prepare a hair dryer for one lesson. Yeah, but my husband's in bed asleep. So I've got to be, because he's been doing nights. So I've got to be really quiet. Yeah, you, you can't put headphones for, uh, for That's why I've got dryer. the. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, what I've done, well, I can show you what I've done, but it's, it's only the bases. I haven't really um, put any detail in yet. No, it's messy. <laughs> sure we I've know done. what Jules likes. <laughs> this is nowhere near finished. It needs to dry. I'm going to put it out in the sun. Then I'm going to put the detail in. Um, but um, if, if there is still time, I can try to create maybe one, one uh, water drop on the rose. Yeah. Yeah. As Jules was excited to... Um, yeah, I really want to learn more about that. To improve. So let's just uh, repeat the exercise. So mm -hmm. uh, what was it? It was some, uh, let's say somewhere here. I'll try to create a water drop. Then I'll go with some uh, little, um, so uh, light pink. So I'll create the drop itself, yeah? So also because I already have painted, so it's not like on the, on the white paper. Um, uh, so, but uh, yeah, somewhere here. Mm -hmm. I'll go with, the, with the big drop. Yeah. Then, so here we see. Wait a little bit. Um, um, okay, and then what was it? It was the shadow under the drop. Yeah, so just the half halfway yeah, half circle. It was the yeah, and then if it's not like really um, nicely, then just clean my brush and can correct it a bit. Yeah, then. 
And then what was the important part? It was this highlight. Then I just dig in into my plain white and create some, some, um, some drop. And then I have to divide also the drop in itself into colors, yeah? So, and usually it's a bit darker um, where the highlight is, yeah? So let's say I take some dark pink. Yeah, of course it's easier to create when it's um, when you have your paper, yeah, when you're just starting. But yeah, so somewhere, yeah, in this case, like the, the highlight can be even just the paper, yeah, that's not yeah. a bit darker. Yeah, the thing is, of course, it's like very tiny job to do. Yeah, so it's um, you you do this with the with the small brush and yeah. So, but the but the story is kind of this this four parts. So the body, and then the shadow. Yeah, because it's kind of still object and it gives the shadow on its own, and then I go. Yeah, with the with the highlight. So here maybe the shadow can be also a bit little, yeah, a bit more. I can remove, so um, or blend out a bit the shadow and the highlight. Yeah. So if if the highlight also not too much, too little, yeah, then I just um, go with some darker just around the highlight as well. Yeah, it's kind of the also when we're painting eyes. Uh, we have this um, the lightest spot and then exactly the darkest part goes around it yeah mm. and then the rest part of eye is kind of more blended out I mean I even when I watered the garden this morning I sprayed the window so I could see what the water drops look like <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just wanted to well, see in this moment mm. yeah but There's take a morning. picture yeah. And then you can study the picture. Yeah, yeah, because so, I was looking at them because as you say with the colours, yeah. it's knowing where to put that shadow in. So like with that rose last week, I'm looking at that bud and one of them, it really, really does look like a water drop, but the other two just looks like splodgies. And I'm thinking, hmm. <laughs> but I can see now what you're saying there. It needs, it's not literally just that mark around it. It needs to be different shades in there doesn't it mm. yeah it's kind of but also like this good picture of darren last time yeah and you can see you could see that all the drops were really different yeah, yeah. so not all of them had the shadow here like no. under and below someone you could feel somehow they have the shadow on top yeah, yeah. and of course then some drops were on the light side and they were yeah. all more kind of clear yeah. the ones on the shadow side it's yeah. almost like, yeah, they're all with color. So, mm. yeah, but. Um, yeah, so that's my but, new but study. <laughs> yeah, but the structure drops. in itself, yeah, the, the structure goes, um, oh, Jill, sorry. Ooh, yay. Yeah. yeah, but it's not anywhere near finished, but it needs to dry. Yeah. I'm going to put it out in the sun because it's not, it's not a cloud in the sky now. So I'm going to put it out on the... Uh... Yeah, um, very good uh, color combination this time. Yeah. So with this mm. purple of lavender and... Um... Yeah. I will put the nice. um, sweet peas and the bee in and everything. It just that uh, it's really, really wet. So it needs to dry. <laughs> um, but you know, I've done the splodges in it. So what I will do then is I'll go back, put in all the petals and then I'll have a go in the water drops honestly your rose I really like I mean um or you mean the petals for for the others um, yeah so I'm going to put um, in what I might do is put in an um so I will need to put a bit of definition in the lavender because they're just splodges at the moment and then um put the sweet peas in and the and the bee yeah um, but it's just yeah, really like wet the, the the spots these light pink spots of peas could be really nice yeah yeah and then cool 
but yeah, no, it's just really, nice. really thank you. It just it really, really is wet, so mm. it's no point. Okay. All I'm gonna do is make it muddy. I'll I'll, I'll send um, the little girl's work. Oh, look group. at that! Yeah, it is. Какая у тебя сегодня отличная работа получилась? Я в восторге. Слушай, какая умничка. Yeah. Wow. Мне очень нравится ваза твоя и и роза и этот цветной горошек, да? Если и скотч у вас в этот раз очень хорошо, да? Это шоу. Make a really good fabric print. Imagine on fabric. Mm. Um, uh, Jules говорит, что очень хорошо, вот если такой на, на ткани, например, очень хорошо сработал бы твой рисунок. I just, just translated Jules. Wow, <laughs> uh, oh, I'm very amazed. Отличная работа, Ирис. Очень-очень uh, нравится. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Mel, you'll always be good with a, with a board around it. Yeah, it needs something else, I think. A really nice border or something. It love, look lovely on the wall. Yeah, mm. I think it's my favourite one yet, I think. Yeah, it's really... It's the colours, they're really striking. And the rose, you've got that shadow in it. It's lovely. Oh. That's about my third coat of paint on that rose. That's <laughs> <laughs> mm. so. hard. Was it like in Plymouth? Is the sun out? Um, it's a little bit out. It's a little bit overcast, but it's just quite hot and muggy. Yeah, it's coming your way then. We've got brilliant sunshine now, but it was really what you had earlier. And now there's not a cloud. Yeah, it's coming your way. There's not a cloud in the sky. So it's coming your way. <laughs> that would be good. I've got purple paint all over my table now. Yeah, I've got to clean up. <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> well, all right, my girls. <laughs> Thank you, Evie. Thank you, Evie. Yeah, it was a very uh, summerly, flowerly today. Yeah, it was lovely. Like yeah, me too. Thank you. Um, well, thank you, of course. Any special wishes, Mel? Or, um, no? No? Any special Which wishes for the next time, Jules? Um... I wouldn't mind doing a sunflower at some point. All right. Yeah, yeah we can continue with the flowers, why not? Yeah, just with the yeah. sunflower. That'd be really good. So I would struggle, I would struggle with a sunflower. Um, like Van Gogh style or can be or whatever. Just um doing a head of a sunflower would struggle with. So I'd really like right. to learn how to do that. You just have lots of artworks going oh, on. I've got it, I'm surrounded by my artwork. I'm back into it again now. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you next week. See you next yeah. week, then, Mel, and bye see you. Bye. bye then. Yeah, bye see bye, ya. bye, everyone. Bye. 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 It is. Was vision is Lisha. Кто а, какой да. рисунок у вас сегодня получился? Я прям смотрю, не могу Я не любоваться. Рисовать там соло. Нет, в следующий раз Ирис. Ирис поняла? Так Ирис э, понимает по-английски. Я, 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 я переживаю и перевожу, а она все поняла, что мы будем соло в следующий раз рисовать. Не надо быстро. Да, я тут блажу. Флешка, компьютер сломался. Ужас, прям. Ну, да. Ну, может, еще это он поспит и включится? Ну, как-то рестартировать его надо будет. Он в последнее время как-то жужжал очень, хотя новый компьютер Ирис. Вот. Так что... Так что так. Да, окей, компьютер сделал. Да. Как было сегодня сложно рисовать? Сегодня было сложно или легче? Легче было. Больше цветов, наверное, больше композиции. Ирис, ну грязные кисточки не надо. Вот, видишь? И несмотря, что у вас были технические неполадки, ты вон как отлично справилась. Она уже начала потом рисовать. Вот, ну хорошо. 
Хорошо, тогда давай тогда, может быть, до следующего раза. Мы, Хорошо, я думаю, да. Ирис, надо купить мне еще другие кисточки. На самом деле, Ай. это такие крупные, и не очень удобно ее рисовать, они не держат хорошо. Да, маленькие кисточки, это, конечно, очень важно, да, вот у меня вот, посмотри, сейчас я покажу рядышком, конечно, очень такие маленькие, большие кисточки я беру редко, это, конечно, когда уже совсем большой формат, а так как эм, А4, то, конечно, вот, видишь, совсем одна вот тоненькая такая, да, для линий, и одна такая более квадратная, но они все равно обе, конечно, маленькие. Очень часто идут комплектом, и э, э, даже не обязательно дорогие, то есть там комплект какой-нибудь там за 6 евро, и, э, и бывает нормального качества, да, то есть да, для да, акрилов. Да, смотрите. Вот. Ну, не вот. Такой, что это за факт? Вот в этом магазине я часто иду, который около, недалеко от э, Орига, вот где-то там надзырно, вот такой хобби-сет. хобби он вот okay, на Дзирному okay. находится, но уже на Дзирному, где уже ближе к этому, к, к, да, к часам к Орига в ту сторону. И там, он, и там внутри столько всего, да, и не только краски и всякие эти там штуки. И там я вот покупала, там и, и, и акрил отдельно тоже тюбиками можно купить, да, то есть вот, например, вот этот очень хорошо, я обожаю этот, этот туркиз, да, и такой очень всегда помогает, он называется, он, он выглядит как светло-розовый, но называется такой как Naples Yellow, да? то есть неаполитанско-желтый такой называется, но эти два цвета, вот, они отдельные, они так часто нужны, то есть я имею, да, остальные, конечно, из, из комплекта. И белый тоже, так как белый часто заканчивается, можно белый сразу побольше тюбик купить. Вот. Да, если вот. Ну хорошо, если да, вы заняты, не будут да, вас отвлекать. Надо да, поесть, да. а я да. еще мажу. Да, и нам на самом деле надо ехать в деревню, мы думали, что мы будем в деревне рисовать, но мы остались а, дома. Ясно. Почему ну тогда можем? собирайтесь, да. Тогда поболтаем в следующий раз. Да, Женечка, я тебе сейчас сразу перечислю за эти оба занятия тоже. Хорошо, не переживай, да, абсолютно не это, не к спеху. Потом Я будет время перечислить. Да. Ну все, моя Ирис, ты сегодня большая умничка, ты такая самостоятельно рисуешь и, и не побоялась эти капли делать, да? Да, вот. да Ирис очень нравится, очень нравится. Ну, я, да. я рада, что Ирис нравится. Моя красавица. Ладненько, мы действительно чуть торопимся Все, сегодня. Бегите, бегите, да, до следующего раза. Хорошо, Все, спасибо. Чао. Чао, чао.